Hello, I'm Curran, and I will be teaching this course, Data Visualization 2018. And this is a, an overview of the course. This course is about data visualization. There are three core aspects of data visualization that this course will really delve into. One of them is analysis of data visualization. This means when you see a visualization, you can analyze, does it make sense to visualize the data that way? Another aspect is design of data visualizations. This involves making choices on how to visualize certain data. The third aspect, and this is really what I think makes my particular course um, unique, is construction of data visualization. By data visualization construction, what I mean is actually putting these design ideas into practice and creating data visualizations and evolving them, you know, implementing them in actual software that runs. The analysis and design parts of this course will draw heavily from this amazing textbook by Tamara Munzner, Visualization Analysis and Design. We're going to read from this book and also watch lectures that she's done uh, that are posted on YouTube. For the data visualization construction part of this course, we're going to leverage web technologies, including HTML, CSS, and SVG, and also JavaScript and the library d3.js. I will make YouTube videos where we do a deep dive into sort of hands-on practice with these technologies using a platform that I've developed called VizHub. All of the content for this course will be made public on GitHub. Let's take a look at what's available on GitHub. This repository, which is under github.com slash current slash data viz course 2018, contains sort of the index of the course, including the syllabus. And this is published in a nice, uh, nicely readable Jekyll site and that looks like this. This contains links to all the YouTube videos and the resources used inside of each video. Let's go over the syllabus for this course. I want to present the list of topics that we're going to cover. If you follow this course all the way through and do the exercises and so on, you will be able to design and create data visualizations of your own, do exploratory data analysis, craft visual presentations for effective communication, evaluate visualization design alternatives, including color choices, know when to apply data transformations like aggregation and filtering, identify opportunities for where you can use visualization, critique and you know really analyze existing visualizations, and use JavaScript and D3 to develop interactive visualizations for the web. In week one, we're going to discuss what is data visualization and why do it in the first place. We'll also introduce the basics of the technologies that we're going to use, including making a face with d3.js using this interactive in-browser code editing tool called VizHub. In week two, we're going to consider the inputs for data visualization, which is data and tasks. In week three, we're going to dive into marks and channels. Here's an example of something we'll cover in week three, how to encode data effectively using marks, such as points, lines, and areas, using channels like color, shape, and spatial region. In week four, we're going to look at some common visualization idioms, including bar charts, pie charts, area charts, and line charts, and also how to make these with D3. Here's an example of a stacked bar chart that shows population and religion breakdown across the most populous 20 countries. 
In week five, we're going to talk about making maps and also visualizing trees and networks. Here's an example visualization showing the population of various cities on the globe. Here's an example radial tree visualization that shows the breakdown of countries across uh, regions of the world. So that's week five. In week six, we're going to talk about effectively using color and size in visualization. In week seven, we'll start to talk about interaction techniques. For example, adding menus to a scatter plot. And also tooltips, where you get more detail on hover. In week eight, we're going to talk about multiple linked views. For example, adding brushing to a scatter plot so that the points that you brush over get fed into a bar chart. Here's another example of multiple linked views, and this one has linked navigation. So if you move the brush in this context view, you sort of pan and zoom in this focus view, where you can click to uh, interactively filter the data. In week nine, we'll talk about data reduction, which includes things like computing histograms and aggregating data with group by. Here's an example of a date histogram that shows migrant deaths over time, with also this linked map. And finally, in week 10, we're going to talk about the focus plus context pattern. So that's it for our overview of Data Visualization 2018. I know it's maybe a bit ambitious, but I think we can get through it all. And uh, this is going to be awesome. I really look forward to see what the students come up with and uh, what becomes of this. So thanks for watching. Take care.